Hey guys, we're out here at the Starbase production facility and we wanted to give you a sneak peek at some of the upgrades that we're doing to one of our rover assets. We recently started collaborating with Renogy, a leading power energy company specializing in solar power systems. Today, we're gonna give you a glimpse of Renogy's solid state battery. We recently upgraded our 200 amp hour AGM battery with their new lithium solid state battery. Now, the first thing we did was upgrade the firmware on the new battery to ensure that we didn't encounter any bugs or glitches. And afterwards, we charged the battery up to 100% with shore power. Being that we rarely have any solar power issues in the South Texas summers, we purposely waited to test this battery in the late fall and early winter to see how much power we can actually squeeze out of it. To power everything up here, we have four 100 watt Renogy solar panels on top of the vehicle. And right now we only have a couple of devices online, which include an IP PTZ camera and an uplink radio communications device, but plan on adding one more camera and a couple of more network devices in the near future. After being fully charged and despite a couple of cloudy days, the battery stayed completely charged. At the end of day one, the battery showed we still had six days of power remaining. And at the end of day two, the battery level showed we still had a whopping eight days of life left, which is really awesome considering our rover assets run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. On day three, the sun came out and gave us a little more power than we were expecting. Even though the Renogy 30 amp controller was set for lithium use, we encountered an E2 error indicating an over voltage in the battery. After a few checks, we realized by default the controller's lithium setting was set to 14.2 volts for the boost charge. So we logged in via the Bluetooth module and scaled back the voltage to 13.8. After that, the system calmed down and all of our devices came back online. So far, this battery seems to be a real powerhouse. And although we don't like dark and cloudy days, we're kind of hoping for a few more to see just how far we can push this thing. So stay tuned for our next update to see how things are going.